in this video we will look at Google net. Uh, the basic building block of this Google net is the inception module this is again a 2014 winner of the uh, ImageNet challenge. So, let us look at the basic building block of the inception module. So, for instance we had for the VGG network that we saw in the previous video the basic building block was a block of convolutional layers using very small filter sizes. And if you looked at remember if you recall AlexNet now AlexNet had variable filter sizes. So, each first layer had 11 cross 11 filters and then we had 5 cross 5 filters and then we had 3 cross 3 and then a fully convolutional network ok. So, the inceptional module uh, incorporates both these concepts since that every layer has all possible filter sizes. So, they built a block a convolution block which had multiple filter sizes and they let the network the backprop and the learning uh, through which the network learns and let the backprop decide which weights to update based on your objective function. So, let us just quickly look at this uh, inception module. So, if you look there are uh, there are two images. So, this here is what the um, authors of the Google net paper call the uh, naive implementation and this is the actual implementation that they have followed. So, what is the difference? So, we have an input feature map ok this is the thickness of the feature map right here that means a different color uh, which will highlight this right this good. So, this is the thickness of the feature map as I have pointed out ok the size some k feature maps and we have 1 cross 1, 3 cross 3, 5 cross 5 and a 3 cross 3 max pooling also applied to these feature maps. The outputs of each of them are taken and concatenated. So, they are concatenated across that way ok. So, again this means that we have to do the convolutions so, the so as to get the same sized field feature maps from each of these convolutions. So, they are all 0 padded accordingly and to get the correct size feature map so that they can all be concatenated. As you will see doing this has a problem because the number of computations becomes huge ok. So, if you just so this is the naive implementation. So, but doing it this way doing the, the implementing the block the inception module as they call it this way has issues in terms of the uh, number of computations involved ok it becomes huge because we have large uh, filter sizes 5 by 5 also in that ok. We can also use I think it is possible to use 7 cross 7 also, but the uh, authors of the uh, Google net uh, inception module just stop with 5 by 5 probably worked very well for the image net challenge ok. So, what is the better implementation? The better implementation is to uh, use 1 cross 1 convolutions to reduce the size of the filter maps in the sense when I say size in this context it is the depth of the uh, feature maps ok. So, if you have so if your input layer has let us say uh, your input layer has 28 cross 28 cross let us say 192 inputs ok so many feature maps. So, in this case let me write it down here so that this is where we are going to do the 1 cross 1 192 ok. So, we would use the 1 cross 1 convolutions to project this number number of feature maps to a smaller number to a smaller uh, volume. So, what I mean by that we know that as if you recall we know that 1 cross 1 feature maps preserve the size of the feature maps in the sense in plane the x y size of the feature maps are preserved, but we can use the 1 cross 1 convolution to reduce the depth of the feature map. So, that is pretty typically precisely what the inception model accomplishes. So, so if you have a very large in the sense of a very uh, wide volume so very large number of feature maps in the input volume you would use this 1 cross 1 convolution to bring it down. So, for instance in this case let us say we take the 1 cross 1 convolution before the 5 cross 5 we can use the 1 cross 1 convolution to reduce the size of feature maps to 28 cross 28 cross let us say 16 ok and then we can output let us say from the 5 cross 5 convolution. So, we can output 28 cross 28 cross 128 feature maps ok. 
Okay. So, just to recall the how this is done is by defining 16 1 cross 1 convolutions. Of course, 1 cross 1 convolutions act across the volume, across the feature maps. So, you can also question whether this would you know lead to loss of information. So, this seems to be a parameter they have tweaked the number of feature maps here. Uh, this has to be done by some kind of cross validation to see which is the most optimal. Okay. Uh, so, this 1 cross 1 convolutions prior to doing the larger uh, convolutions with in a sense larger convolutions in the sense of convolutions with larger filter sizes. So, the 1 cross 1 projects the input volume to a smaller dimension and then subsequently you use 3 cross 3 convolutions to put them back. Okay. So, this is uh, what is referred to now as bottleneck, bottleneck layers. Okay. So, you shrink the size of the feature map that way it works. Similarly, for the max pooling also you can do uh, because max pooling would uh, in most cases uh, preserve the size of the feature maps, uh, the depth of the feature maps that is and you can use again 1 cross 1 convolutions to reduce the size. Okay. So, this was the uh, begin uh, the uh, two of the big innovations in, in the inception module. So, instead of just so, if you saw in VGG that each block they decide they um, divide the network into blocks. So, each block had a succession of convolutions. So, in this case for inception module it incorporates multiple convolution kernel sizes just like in, uh, in Alex net we saw that they use 11 cross 11, 5 cross 5, 3 cross 3, but in this case it is 5 cross 5, 3 cross 3, 1 cross 1 and a max pooling layer all in one uh, all in one module and we also use this bottleneck 1 cross 1 convolutions to project the input volume to a lower dimension in terms of the depth of the volume before we do the 3 cross 3 con and the other convolutions with higher filter kernel sizes. So, we just look at the network this had about 22 layers with weights and so there was an initial set of convolutions and max pooling. Okay which reduced the size of the input to 28 cross 28 cross 192. So, the input as usual was a 224 cross 224 cross 3, it was followed up by a sequence of convolutions and max pooling, sequence of convolutions and max pooling to get it to one, uh, 28 cross 28 cross 192 and then that was used as input to the inception layers, sequence of inception layers followed by max pooling again a sequence of in inception layers followed by max pooling so on till we have the, uh, the, the typical output layer with 1 of 1000 activations. Okay. So, it had <coughs> so the they have labeled the inception modules as 3a 4b this was the if you read the paper I urge you to go read the paper where you see that they have labeled each of these uh, convolution the uh, inception modules by you know 3a 3b in this case 4a 4b and there is the corresponding table which tells you how the computations are done in that particular module. Okay. So, we will just walk through one inception module that is 3a and see how the uh, number of the savings in the number of computations by using a 1 cross 1 bottleneck to, uh, to reduce the size of the field, reduce the number of feature maps. So, this is a 22 layer network, but then it had very few parameters about 5 million parameters. And it, it won the 2014 ImageNet challenge with a top 5 error rate of about 7 percent, okay, slightly better than VGG, but with much, much, much lesser number of parameters. Okay. So, this was considered uh, uh, this again is one of the networks which have uh, it is very small net, very deep, but in the terms of number of parameters, very less number of parameters. We contrast to let us say AlexNet as well as VGG, VGG as 100, VGG 16 and 138 million, AlexNet had 60 million parameters, but this only had 5 million parameters, these are weights in the network. Okay. So, we will look at this inception 3a right here, which takes us input 28 cross 28 cross uh, uh, 192 and the output is uh, I think 28, 28 to 56. Okay. So, just look at it. So, we reproduced a piece of the table here. I urge you to go back and look at the table. 
So, this is the output size of the max pooling layer which feeds the uh, as input to the inception this is the input to, in, uh, to the inception uh, module 3A and this is the output of the inception module 3A okay. So, it has 64 1 cross 1 convolutions so we saw that if you uh, will go back and we will write it down there just to see and then it had 96 3 by 3 reduce in that table means the number of uh, 1 cross 1 convolutions done the 96 feature maps were produced by the 1 cross 1 convolutions prior to doing the 3 cross 3. So, you would produce um, 128 feature maps with 3 by 3 again 16 1 cross 1 feature maps produced by the 1 cross 1 convolutions following by 32 okay. and then 32 from the max pooling layer. Okay. So, the output of the max pooling layer if you go back so if you recall some of these numbers. So, we would do uh, here so what it means here is the reduce is basically here. So, prior to 3 cross 3 we would have 96 feature maps here and prior to 5 cross 5 we will have 16 feature maps there and then the output of the 1 cross the max pooling would give you uh, we saw 32 feature maps. Okay. So, and if you look at the output of the 3 cross 3 convolutions I think this has about if you can go back and look I do not I don't want to go back and forth again. So, the 3 by 3 produced about 128 okay. and the 5 cross 5 produces 32 right the pooled projection layer produces another 32 this is a max pooling layer and the 1 cross 1 convolution itself produces 64. Okay. Uh, this is from the 3 cross 3 of course, there is uh, uh, 96 coming in to this uh, if I am not mistaken yes the reduce is 96 and the reduce is 16 here. So, this is the 1 cross 1 convolution this is the 3 cross 3 5 cross 5 and for the pool projection there is nothing for the other one there is a 1 cross 1 convolution this is directly from the input these two are from the input. Okay. So, the hash 3 by 3 cross 3 reduce is basically the number of feature maps produced by the 1 cross 1 convolution recall that I will once again back here recall that the 1 cross 1 convolutions are done prior to the 3 cross 3 and the 5 cross 5 and the 1 cross 1 convolution following the max pooling. Okay there is no nothing before then there is one plain 1 cross 1 convolution layer. Okay. So, which is what we have here. So, b, this is 64 1 cross 1 64 feature maps produced from 1 cross 1 96 uh, by the uh, 1 cross 1 prior to the 3 cross 3 and then the output from the 3 cross 3 is 128 and the output from the 5 cross 5 is 32, but prior to that you reduce the dimension to 60. Okay. So, what is the savings in terms of number of computations? So, if you look at the uh, following the, uh, the output of the max pool which is the input to the uh, to the uh, inception module is 28 cross 28 cross 192. Now, if you directly do 192 uh, 3 cross 3 convolution of course, then the size of the number of parameters in every uh, every filter is 3 cross 3 cross 192 and then we produce let us say 128 feature maps that is 28 cross 28 cross 128 then the number of operations would be about 173 million okay now if we do now let's do the uh, one cross one projections into a smaller volume now if you do that then we produce 96 feature maps following the one cross one convolution okay and then we follow it up with the 3 cross 3 convolution to again produce 128. So, we have to uh, do this calculation here for the 1 cross 1 convolution. So, the easiest way to uh, this is again uh, very easy to write it down uh, I will write this down for the 3 and then the okay. So, if you were to do 3 cross 3 convolutions to produce 128 feature maps of size 28 by 28. So, the number of elements in the output feature map or the number of activation in the output feature map is so much right. And then for each feature for each output activation we have to do how many computations 3 cross 3 
cross 192 sum of products right. So, 3 cross 3 cross 192 that is pretty much what you see there okay that comes to 173 million. You can repeat the calculation here for, here for this one too. So, the output feature map here for the 1 cross 1 contribution is 28 times 28 times 96. This is the total number of activations produced for each activations we have to perform 1 cross 1 cross 192 multiplications okay. So, that is what we have here and then similarly for the 3 cross 3 convolutions we produce 28 cross 28 cross this plus 28 cross 128 right and for each one of these activations we have to perform 3 cross 3 cross 96 multiplication. So, that is number is here. So, if we add you see that there is a reduction in the number of computations that you have just for this one particular uh, feature map uh, set of feature maps okay. So, this was the innovation behind uh, the uh, inception module. So, it does two things it uh, lets the network decide which feature maps are more relevant based on the uh, back propagation or the optimization. At the same time, as we saw earlier again, uh, even with the VGG net, we saw that using larger receptive fields means that the number of parameters increases and number of computations also increased correspondingly. So, that is solved by using this bottleneck layer using 1 cross 1 convolution, where 1 cross 1 is used to project your feature maps to a smaller dimension. Here, the reduction is along the depth of the feature maps, so the volume becomes smaller. So, we will look at the uh, inception 3A layer. So, the table is uh, reproduced from the paper it tells you the number of 1 cross 1, 3 cross 3 convolutions etcetera in every layer okay. So, uh, just let us just go uh, one layer by layer. The input to the inception 3A layer is of size 28 cross 28 cross 192 it's a layer the output has same size 28 cross 28 cross 256 okay. So, now it has number of 1 cross 1 convolutions is 64, so there are 64 here okay. The hash 3 by 3 reduce refers to the number of 1 cross 1 convolution maps produced by the 1 cross 1 convolutions preceding the 3 cross 3. So, which means that this 1 cross 1 convolution layer will produce 64 feature maps of the same size 64 feature maps and the 3 cross 3 convolutions will output um, 3 cross 3 will output 128. So, that is those are the two the 3 hash 3 cross 3 reduce here refers to the convolution layer 1 cross 1 convolution layer preceding the 3 cross 3 convolution okay it refers to this one right here. So, the number there the number of feature maps produced as output there is 96 okay. These serve as input to the 3 cross 3 convolution. So, the 3 cross 3 produce an output of 128 okay which is concatenated there. Similarly, the hash 5 cross 5 reduce refers to the number of feature maps from the 1 cross convolution that is 16 and the 5 cross 5 itself produces 32 feature maps. The pooled projection layer produces 32 followed by 1 cross 1 convolution, so that remains fixed. In this case, so the total number is if you add these up, if you add 32 these numbers these are the, so if you put these together you get about 256 output feature maps. So, this is just for one inception block okay. So, you can work through the table in the paper and see if the uh, calculations are consistent with the structure that I showed you earlier okay.